Has so it been kind of uh, not fun having to wait so long between games? You guys will have only played once in the last what, two weeks, I think. I mean, obviously you want to play. We wish we could play every day, but uh, there's obviously an advantage to getting a little more rest than a couple of those, these other teams. And uh, we're really just trying to compete hard in practice and make it as game-like as possible. How's Gavin been? What's, your, what's your, both of your observations about him coming back off the NCAA? Uh, he's getting stronger every day. You know, it's it's hard coming back from a sickness because you can't control it. You just have to rest and. You know, it's you come back and you're a little bit more weak, and so he's come a long way from being that ill and then coming stronger and getting better, getting back. Yeah, he had a couple dunks today, a couple blocks. Yeah. He looked great. He's gonna be great on Saturday for us. How's his energy level? His what? Energy level. It's great. I, I, he's gonna be 100% by Saturday, I think. Yeah, for sure. Has it been hard the, uh, to stay focused, not knowing who your opponent is going to be? No, because I, I think we're doing the same thing we've been doing all season, and let's try to focus on ourselves. You know, it doesn't matter who we play right now. It, it's all about us and how we can get better over these last couple of days. How, how did the regular season prepare you for the next couple of days? What did you learn in the regular season that you think has helped you get ready for this weekend in Vegas? Uh, I think it helps us be able to just focus on ourselves, what we need to fix, what, you know, what we learned from all of our games. You know, it's just like the preseason, we're learning from that to go into the you know, regular season. Then you go to the postseason, learning from what you had throughout the whole season. And you just kind of keep learning, keep growing. And that's basically the whole life of basketball. Tournament format, these conference tournaments fall. I know you guys have the off day on Sunday. But what's the biggest challenge in playing that many games in such a small time period relatively to what regular season's like? Um, I don't know if it's so much of a challenge because you got to realize everybody else is doing it too. You know, it's how mentally tough are you? Because you can sit there and say, oh, I'm so sore. The guys you're playing are just as sore. They're just as tired. And it's really about who's mentally tougher. Does that make the long days maybe a little bit easier? Because you guys got some, some late tips coming up with, with uh, this tournament. Or are you guys just used to them by now at this point? Yeah, we're used to them. We've had, we've had a lot of late tips, so. Yeah, the same yeah. Man. yeah, doesn't really matter. What do you think of Orleans Arena? It's awesome. Uh, you like playing there? Yeah, the yeah. Lines and all that? First played there in high school. Played pretty well there, and I uh, feel like we've had a lot of really good individual games, and uh, I don't think it's going to affect us too much. I think we're one of the few teams in the conference that's lucky enough to play in a really large arena, so I think we're more prepared for it than most teams. Zach as a shooter, how would you feel about it? Just kind of the, I know you always a shooter I'm, too. Yeah, right? so <laughs> I'm probably yeah. the best shooter on the team. But. I I think it's great. You know, it's just like any other gym. You know, you just got to go in and get used to the feel of it, and you know, you're set. You know, it's the Orleans Arena is kind of like home now. We've been in there a few more years, and so it's it's just home. It's able to go out there and just win games. Does playing there this weekend feel a little different because it's a losing your out kind of thing? Uh, I mean, obviously all tournaments are kind of like that, and that's what's so exciting about March. You know, that's uh, that's where players want to play. You know, that's that's what's so exciting about it. You lose, you go home, you're done. And uh, we have so many winners on our team. We have guys that have won a ton of state championships, guys that have really excelled in these type of games, and uh, I think that really translates. It's been a long season. You guys have got, had a lot of ups and downs, a lot of wear and tear on your bodies. How do both of you feel physically right now? You've had a few days rest. I feel great. Yeah, yeah, I feel great. I think we have a lot of older guys, and we've been through it, and we kind of know what the toll of a season is like. And after the last two years, you, you figure out how to take care of your body, and our guys feel great. You know, like, I'm only going to ask this because we might not get to talk to you again. Have you thought more about whether you'll be back next year or – are you for sure heading off to pro basketball? What kind of let us know where you stand right now on that? Uh, that's not really where my thoughts are at right now. My thoughts are uh, tomorrow having a great practice, having a great game the next day, and taking this team as far as we can go. And uh, obviously, that's something you think about a little bit. But uh, my focus is with this team right now, and I'm so grateful that I get to play with this group of guys. What do you feel like it's going to take to get to that championship game? Just play how we've been playing. Win uh, games. Now. Yeah, you gotta, you gotta play like yourselves. 
Uh, there's going to be ups and downs. And I think this team has seen a lot of ups and downs. You know, we've, we've been at the highest of highs in some of our big games and the lowest of lows in some of those losing streaks. And uh, the key is to be consistent and to be ourselves and look like us. Coach says that a lot is we have to look like us and look how we look in practice and not try to do it yourself. You know, to, to win a championship is hard and it takes everybody. No one player can do it themselves. And if we play together, then I think we can go take care of business. Getting to the NCAA tournament is always the goal. Um, it's been a while for BYU that since I've been there. How much does it drive the two of you to, to want to be the guys that change that? Um, it's, you know, it's the feeling that like you just want to be able to kind of, you know, have that, you know, that accomplishment, you know, that achievement to be able to be a part of that team that went to the tournament, and so it's. Right now, it's a time where we need to, you know, all kind of come together and be able to just keep playing each day, each game, and just kind of keep our heads and our eyes towards that goal. But being able to focus just on that each day, just focus on, you know, how are we going to get there and what is our first step of getting there, and that's basically going out and winning Saturday, and that's our first step to be able to do that, and we just got to take it step by step. For sure. Uh, well, oh, I, oh, go ahead. That's uh, that for sure motivates me, and I think it motivates a lot of our guys. Uh, I think back to when I was a kid, just watching March Madness and just being in awe, watching all these games and great players, and uh, I always looked at it and thought, I can't wait till that's me, you know. And uh, I think a lot of our guys feel that way, and it definitely drives us and motivates us to get to that level. Zach, or any of your Yoli's teammates lobbying him to stay next year or anything? Is that even a discussion in the locker room or anything? Um, it's we just want what's best for him. You know, he's a brother, he's family. You know, we want him to be where he feels comfortable, and we want him to, you know, do whatever he feels is best. You know, it's kind of between him and his family and what his thoughts are, and you know, if whatever he decides, we're going to support him 100. percent